think this is how I would tell you. The straight that you need to. This one is a straight button, this one is a reverse button, and zigzag. So, from this or zigzag, you can do a button O and embroidering design. This one is for to control your needle position, it doesn't really matter. This one is your on and off button, your stitches length, and your reverse button. So, you come here, you open it, you remove your ruler. That's the ruler that this is, this is single ruler. So, this is how you pass it. Just so watch the way you pass it. This is inside here. Yeah. It's going to come to your left hand side. The thread is coming to your left hand side. Okay. Hold the with the ruler. Press it down. Then pass it. That's all. Pass it. Then close it. Then pick your thread up. That's how. So. So you just do your straight. Do your straight like you just put this at, at this place and so. That's for your straight. Then for your zigzag stitches, you come here, put it in zigzag stitches. Any length that you want, you control it to that aspect. Then for your button O stitches, you come here, you put it in the, the middle zigzag. Then that mark there, that mark, you want mark here, which is in between. Then you control your then you control what you want, your length of your button that you want. Okay. Okay, then for the embroidering design, look at that. I told you that the zigzag is used to, to do your embroidering, right? So let's do the embroidering design. Straight and, straight and zigzag. Can you see the straight, straight, zigzag? It will give you this amazing design. Then let's do that one again. Then for the, for another design, which you can use your little position to do. Your little position. Put it in that zigzag there. Take it to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. It's not hard to use. You can use it. Singer, any singer that uses the same ruler, they does the same thing. If your own is round here, you can reverse to that place. Then you can do the thick embroidery design too. So if if you are creative, you can even you can even use it to write name. See what you did. You pull this that then that set, that setting gives you this thick embroidery. So now, how to use with your machine leg? Follow the video. And, and the two knots here. So you put your screwdriver there. You use it just to slacken the motor so that you can remove your belt. So once you slacken it, you push it up. Then you remove your belt, okay? So once you remove your belt, gently remove your belt and put your machine rope on it. You know, add just follow the step, the step by step. Follow it the way you're looking at, at this video now. If your own is like this type, trying this type is the same thing. It's the same, it's the same thing, the same thread passing. This type too, the same thread passing. This other type too, the same thread passing. So. Then after you have been sat your leg, you start to match. So you begin to match. So the same way you remove your belt, the same way that you will do it. I have piece the belt back. Okay now, piece the belt back. Remove your rope. Carry your belt to there. Drag the motor up. Gently fix your belt, then push it back. That's all. You can no no no. tighten it. You can leave it like that. Thank you for your patronage. So plug it again and see again. And match your pedal. See, you are good to go. Reverse button.